Hi guys, my name is Mitko from Questups and I'm super excited and grateful to Christina and the Department of International Trade for co-organizing with us this amazing program with four events and one delegation at the end. The topic for this night is actually key support for your business in the UK. And we have amazing speakers here with us is Nigel Jones, who is actually a member of the board of advisors of Prolific North, and he's also representing the Norton Powerhouse. Uh, here is Emily Hobo, which is from London and Partners, and she's senior in world investment manager. And we're just waiting for Derek Goodwin, who is the head of entrepreneurship from the uh, global entrepreneurship program after their session uh, we will have q a and after that we will see a showcase project manager from alice luich uh, she is project manager from uh, dit and one success story of product lending in the uk from dreamix and the ceo todor gigilet but before that i would like again to Thank you, Christina, for those two years of amazing work we have done together. This is second season of our program. And the last one from 125 companies, 25 were selected to present in British Council in Sofia and where you and Nigel met them, interviewed them and selected five companies for fully funded delegation in the UK. It was amazing in Manchester. I, I'm in love with the UK. So I will stop speaking and give you the word to share with us more about the Department of International Trade and the services. Guys, the quest for me this night is to demystify the term soft lending because many people in Bulgaria are actually thinking that in order to have your personal project manager and to use those 750 experts, you have to have an entity in the UK and be uh, there physically or something like this. No, that's not the case. And we'll hear more about that from Christina. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Mitko, for the lovely introduction. I'm so happy to meet you all. And I'm very thankful that, uh, you know, for your interest in the UK markets, in the UK opportunities, and of course, your appetite for the program that we, we, we built. And uh, uh, I do hope this is going to be a worthy session and you're going to receive uh, part of your answers. Um, I'll try to make myself short, which is a bit difficult for me because usually I have to talk and pitch for about 20 or 30 minutes just to be able to cover the AC, uh, what we are actually um, doing and who we are and blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'll just give you some, uh, a brief summary, some key facts, and then uh, you are happy to contact me or write to me or call me or have any other one-to-one -one sessions, because this is a program built, uh, uh, tailored, you know, for you, for the audience, and we are going to be here for the next, let's say, three, four months, so um, just this is not a limited time, so it's no one is under pressure. You can raise your questions anytime, and we can we can uh, one to one or one to many uh, organize sessions and offer tailored support. Um, so my name is simply Christina. Just call me Chris or Christina. Um, I'm part of a DIT Department for International Trade. So I'm serving uh, the Queen, the Crown, and uh, the UK government. Uh, but mainly what I'm serving uh, and is, is the companies, the entrepreneurs from, um, from Europe Central. Um, so I have five babies of my own. I take care of uh, Bulgaria, uh, Serbia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, North Macedonia and my mother country, Romania. So any entrepreneur, any company, any person that is interested to build business in the UK or expand the current uh, operations in the UK, grow, scale up, uh, even if it's a startup or a big account, um, they, they should write to me and they should contact me. In a way, I am your translator and I am your, let's say, middleman. So if you get to me, I will make sure that, you know, I I made the right introductions. Um, we study your business case, we establish your needs and requirements, and then uh, we, um, we assign a, a UK project manager in the field 
so that we may help you with your successful uh, lending in the UK. So we can help you with, uh, with a lot of things. So I'll go briefly through that. And if you have any curiosities, we, we can, I can actually give you more info on the questions and answers session. Just let me go here to my, I scratch few slides for you. Because this is not, uh, you know, it's it's not a um, an event with presentations, but just for you to have your things noted down. Um, so if you if you get to the AT, if you get to me or to Nigel Jones or to Midco, um, definitely you'll be uh, receiving like bespoke um, attention and support. And what we can do for you, we can start with the basics. So a lot of startups are asking us. Christina, how can I set up a business in the UK? How long does it take? Is it difficult? Is it complicated? I would like to open a bank account. Does it really take like six months? What are the terms and conditions? Do you have any tips and tricks? Um, I don't have enough money for marketing. Is there any options that you can give us? What about offices? What about virtual correspondence address? Uh, do you have any soft lending options? Can you reduce us the costs? Um, can you give us any governmental incentives? If we are a research and development company, can we have anything, um, you know, any advantages from the governments? Um, can you make key introductions to us to like key stakeholders, investors, buyers, angels, uh, local partners, um, organizations, universities, laboratories, site tech, um, innovation centers? Yes, yes, yes. So we can do all this for you. And the, the nice thing is that it actually works, even if it's free of charge. And we treat everything under confidentiality terms. So uh, as we call it, it's for our eyes only. It's an in-house type of project management. And we uh, have the right to share the information or your business case with any other partners. Uh, with your approval. So only if you want us to make further introductions, we'll be able to, to share information. And our key support is, um, so from these basic things, as we call them, it can go uh, beyond. So we can actually do financial assessments or financial modeling. Um, for example, certain people want to know, is it cheaper for me? to move to the UK or open a new branch in the UK, keep the Bulgarian um, or the company in Serbia and have a second office in the UK. Uh, should I go to London? Should I go to Manchester? Uh, or maybe, I don't know, I would like to be part of Cambridge or Oxford uh, circle. What does that mean? So we can actually assess the cost for you. We can tell you, um, you know, how much the utilities cost, how much an office costs, uh, how much it costs for you to hire people on different roles. Um, and uh, we can actually go even further. Um, we have big, big projects that require warehouse spaces, production lines, factories, um, a lot of R&D resources. So we do, we cover all that. Um, and an extra thing that we can actually do for you is to run market research. So, you know, you are tech companies, but you, you work across any other sectors. So the business, um, the, the products and the services you, you provide, you know, are for different industries from, for different fields. So you can think of any type of statistics or uh, topics uh, that are useful for your uh, assessment, for your business development. And together with the project management, we can run that market research. So we can compile in-depth reports and you will receive it on your table, let's say in two, three weeks time, depending um, you know, uh, how busy you know, the project manager is in that period. But it usually takes up to two or three weeks. Um, and again, we do have a lot of uh, entrepreneurial assistance. So anytime um, from, from the very beginning and if even after, uh, you land in the UK, we do have aftercare programs. So we, you're going to receive mentorship and a knowledge transfer um, on, on the full journey and after you, you landed in the UK. And last thing that I would like to, uh, to tell you is that it was uh, 
I was very impressed by, by the fact that so, so many companies applied for the program for, from all three countries. Um, and it's really an honor for us that we received so much attention. So we will do our best and sincere um, interest to help you, uh, even at your own pace and rhythm. So if you want to land in the UK uh, in the next few months, or if you want to do it in the next four years, or you simply want to assess a possible scenario of lending in the UK uh, in the near future, uh, we are the right people uh, you can talk to. Uh, you can see we are young, we are restless, we have a lot of energy, so uh, don't protect us, just call us, write to us, um, we are here for, for full assistance. Um, so when I received the applications uh, and Mitko sent me the questionnaires, I could see um, a lot of consistent questions raised by you, like very fearful ones about Brexit, about COVID, about UK tech, other, other markets and how competitive we are. But at the same time, I could see questions about um, how can we be like sexy for the UK market? How can we attract the UK consumers? Uh, how can we gain, gain trust of the UK market and the UK clients? Uh, we are from Bulgaria, we are from uh, Central Europe. Uh, is that a problem? Um, will they discriminate us? Um, and, you know, being from Romania, I pretty much understand the background. But, you know, what I want to say to you that is that apart from probably from a lot of other markets, UK is... Um, is very famous for the ease of doing business. UK is very, uh, it's, it's very diverse. Um, and just to give you some fun facts is that half of the UK's fastest growing startups have at least one uh, non-Brits co-founder. So 50% of the companies that land in the UK are actually uh, a combination with uh, non-Brits. The co-founders of, uh, of the fastest growing businesses in the UK come from, not from the UK, but from other 29 countries. So uh, it's a pattern. That's business as usual in the UK. So don't be afraid that you are in a different country, you have different routes and be afraid, to, I, I don't know, about the distance or about um, different culture specifics because they don't exist. And again, I, I haven't seen so many ladies online, but UK is as well very famous for the fact that there are so many female entrepreneurs, more than Germany and France combined. So hip hip hooray. So we, um, UK is, is a very comfortable environment for, for entrepreneurs, especially for startups. And you listen to Nigel Jones later and probably he will tell you a bit more, but the most, like the highest number of unicorns in tech are in the UK. And most great, great business cases that I could see and visit are uh, within the Northern Powerhouse. Um, so hopefully we'll go for the program, uh, you know, with everyone, with each and one of you in best of health. So everyone is going to be safe from, from COVID and flu and the un other like family issues. We are going to select five of the best business cases we meet during the program and together, you know, we'll travel to the UK and we'll visit some very beautiful and interesting uh, places for you and you'll be able to meet um, relevant, you know, key stakeholders. Uh, through the program, you'll see you'll meet a lot of mentors, you'll meet um, uh, people that uh, have hands-on experience and expertise in building businesses, um, in helping you, you know, applying for funding and granting so you can get some government support and get their money because they have a lot of money in the UK. It's on the table. They just want, uh, you know, the most innovative and the best products. And we'll be able to help you with that as well. And you'll see some business cases that already had the journey. They're already in the UK. Uh, and they will be able to share with you uh, very honestly um, how it feels like, you know, the, the bad things, um, you know, the, the good things, how they, 
they worked with us, what project management means from DHC and so on. So you'll be able to question all these people. You can even have like common one-to-ones um, and you'll see that uh, we, we actually did good. <laughs> we, we are great um, as, uh, as the brand says, like Great Brits and uh, great investments. So thank you all for being tonight. My best regards and best of health and uh, I'm, I will stay in the background and if there's any answers that I can give to you, uh, I will do it over the questions and answer session. So thank you, Mitko, once again for being such a great organizer. And, and now we have to give the floor to the mentors. I would like to see a lot of chatting and a lot of interaction tonight. You know, just raise questions and we are here to answer. Thank you so much. Thank over you, Christina. You, thank you, Christina, for this great introduction. So uh, I would like uh, to introduce Nigel Jones. He's uh, from the Northern Powerhouse and he's a member of the Board of Advisors of Prolific North. And uh, after that, uh, actually, after that, we will introduce Emily and Derek. Uh, you both guys have uh, five minutes in order to introduce yourself, to share with uh, our great companies uh, in what are you actually going to be most useful uh, to them. So uh, please, Nigel, welcome. Thanks, to Mika. Hello, everybody. So listen, thank you. Uh, I'm, listen, I'll, I'll try and give a bit of an overview now. Obviously, I'm keen to answer as many questions as I can, as you say, during this and over the next few days, weeks and months going forward. But just as a headline, um, yeah, so I work for, I, I guess, a few different things there. But uh, I guess the main thing that's relevant here is for the Department for International Trade or DIT, which does two main things. So we help businesses that are in the UK to export. So if your journey is to internationalize, we can help you from the UK to do that. Uh, and we also help businesses from anywhere in the world. So it doesn't matter if you're from Romania or wherever else it might well be. Um, I help businesses to uh, land in the UK. Um, and once you're here to be successful, um, I'm what's called a sector specialist for DIT, which means I focus on the tech sector. So I'm a tech sector specialist. It's a very broad definition of tech. And I think most of the companies here in some way, shape or form are tech. So I specialize in that. Um, and, and I guess the key way to sort of articulate um, what I do is I provide a free service to businesses and looking at the questions that were asked, uh, it's probably to answer those questions. It's to give you a sense of how, how do you access the UK marketplace? And there are some uh, generic, general things that everybody has the same question about, and we can cover that off maybe for everybody, but then you have to get to the specifics. And the specifics are more about you as a company, the type of technology you're in, the type of products or service, um, the supply chain, the ecosystem, the customers. People have asked about events and how you get into those sort of things. My job is to help with any and all of those things. So I'm, I, I do quite a lot of this at the moment. You know, I, I can't travel. I, I, I was over there, um, I guess, a good year or ago, I guess it was now. And I, I'm looking forward to getting out there again. But for now, I do a lot of these virtual sessions. Uh, and, and this is what we can start to engage you in. We're keen to continue a dialogue. We're keen to understand what particular... Uh, interest do you have uh, who we can introduce you to I've run quite a few sessions even over the time when we've been in lockdown here in the UK with uh, lots of uh, potential customers and one thing I'm conscious of for tech companies whatever tech you have often you want to know about some non-tech companies so it's good to know about yourself and the talent and all the rest of it but often your companies are not tech companies so which are the verticals which are the sort of if you like sectors may you be looking to sell into so I've run sessions specifically in and around manufacturing, for example. I've run sessions in and around the health sector here in the UK. Um, I've run a session today, earlier on today, for immersive tech companies. So VR, AR companies selling into the manufacturing base uh, and even offshore wind in the UK. Um, I've done some work with some of the big brands here. Uh, so, for example, um, uh, Manchester City. I know Christina mentioned sort of some of this previously. We've done some work with big, the biggest sports brands here who have a lot of money and actually are keen to do, uh, I guess, as well off the pitch as they are on it. They actually have some uh, sports venture funding. Um, and I've also done some work with some of the big utility companies over the summertime. So where uh, none of you will probably have heard of a company called United Utilities, but they provide water in one small part of the UK. That's water out of taps and the, the dirty stuff that goes the other way. But they spend £1 billion a year in their supply chain. And they want to be more effective and efficient in their use of technology. 
They have an accelerator program in which they want to sort of engage with businesses from all over the world. And that's a standing point I'll, I'll point back to. Uh, we want businesses from all over the world to be engaging with companies that are in the UK. Doesn't matter where you're from. I think a few of the questions have been about, does it matter if you're from whichever country it is? No, it doesn't. Companies here want to find the best anywhere. And if you've got a good product or service, we want to find that win-win. We want to match you up with some opportunities here. It can be a bit difficult on the one-to-one, -one, and we can get into the detail of that on questions, but we are trying to find opportunities for you to be successful and give you an advantage, a competitive advantage. And as Christina says, and Mick knows, it's a free and confidential service. So we want to help you. The only caveat and the only sort of warning is in all of these things is that much as I like and love you all and want to help you all as much as I can, uh, we need to understand what your plans are for the UK. It needs to be somewhere. It doesn't need to be today. It doesn't need to be tomorrow. But you are at some point thinking about moving to, establishing a base, employing people, selling into the UK. What does that plan look like? And that then unlocks. That unlocks and gives us the reason to start giving you the answers, the questions, the information and the introductions. So um, I think that's probably a couple of minutes overview. I'm happy to take any questions now or later on. And uh, I guess I don't know if it's Emily next. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nigel. Uh, pretty useful. So uh, I would like to uh, invite uh, Emily uh, on the stage in order to uh, share with us uh, more about London and partners. She's senior in world investment manager and she's into financial business services and technology. So hi, Emily. Can you hear us? I can. Thank you. And hi, everyone. It's, it's a pleasure to be here with you this evening. Um, I mentioned to a few people on the pre-call, but please do ignore my, my background of boxes. I'm moving house in a couple of days, so it's all a bit of a mess. Um, but yeah, I mean, fantastic overview from Nigel and Christina on the Department for International Trade. And now that you've all got such a good understanding of what they do, it will hopefully make it easier in explaining what London and Partners does, because we're very similar. Um, London and Partners is the mayor of London's economic development agency. And so our role is to support international companies that are interested in establishing a presence in London. Um, and that really is a really kind of broad brief. We deal with a lot of different things within that. Um, so it could be, for example, supporting companies with setting up their legal entity, or working out whether they qualify for R&D tax incentives, um, dealing with immigration or recruitment, banking, office space, all of those kind of operational things. Um, and then another really important part of what we do is connecting companies into events and networks. And Nigel kind of touched upon this, but it's very much about making sure that companies are embedded in the UK ecosystem. Um, I think there's a lot going on and it can be quite overwhelming. And so I think a really important part of our job, um, both mine and Nigel's, is kind of streamlining that for companies and helping them to work out what to prioritise. Um, beyond that, I mean, the important things to say are it's not kind of a defined programme. So, you know, we can start working with you whenever. Like Christina said, it doesn't matter um, if you're not planning on setting up anything in the UK for the next couple of years, you know, we're delighted to engage with you and support um, whenever we can. Um, and we have sector specialists as well. Um, so I, I predominantly focus on financial services and technology, um, so fintech. Um, but I have colleagues that deal with life sciences, other colleagues that deal with creative. Um, and I think that's really important in in the kind of events and networks piece, because it means that we can really make sure that you're connected to the important people in London. Um, and then the final thing just to say is that, um, similar to the Department of International Trade, everything that we do is free and confidential. Um, so you don't have to worry about us sending you a, a nasty invoice at any point, it's all, it's all free. That's all for me, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into the questions. And thank you very much, uh, Emily. I would like to uh, introduce our next great uh, speaker, Derek Goodwin. He is head of entrepreneurship uh, at the Global Entrepreneurship Program. And can you hear me, Derek? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So hi, everyone. So I just wanted to give you a brief overview about myself and the program that I set up and run. It's essentially, um, the Global Entrepreneur Program is a program which is part of uh, what you've already heard, the Department for International Trade. Um, 
However, the people that work on it uh, are not necessarily are, are entrepreneurs. Um, and that's, I guess, what differentiates us from many of our colleagues across the IT. Um, just to give you a background of, of why that why that is, um, so the program, our main aim is to attract uh, high potential, high impact founders with innovative businesses to the UK. Now, that isn't just us uh, wanting to do that. It's the, it, it's the, the reason is we want to help and we want to transform and we want to inspire ambitious and aspirational founders with great businesses to scale their businesses from, from the UK location. The fact is I spend much of my time and the program spends much of its time working around the world in locations where it is tough to be an entrepreneur. Um, everybody wants to be Mark Zuckerberg or you name it. They want to be, the, the ambition is to have a successful tech business. But the, real, the, the reality is that in, in very few parts of the world does the ecosystem in which they sit give it the tools and the, and the access and the expertise in order to be able to scale that business. It's very difficult to get to sort of seed rounds. It's very difficult to get the right level of mentoring and the right access, the right talent um, in order to scale. And the UK has that in abundance in its ecosystem. And, and I know that uh, Nigel was, has already, and, and uh, Christina already mentioned that the fact that the UK is probably in terms of scale itself as an ecosystem for entrepreneurs, third uh, behind the US and China in, in, term, in, in real terms. And given that our economy is substantially lower than those two, I think uh, the UK really punches above its weight in terms of the ability to scale businesses Businesses can raise money. I mean, something that Christina said about there is lots of money available in the UK, but that makes it competitive. So therefore, businesses really need to demonstrate why an investor should invest in them. And some of these, hopefully some of these things will come out in the questions later. But the UK is a real land of opportunity for entrepreneurs that want to scale their businesses. And my program is is part is our role is to get people into that ecosystem and to help them and to mentor them to provide them with the expertise knowledge and networks they need to do that and the way why we can do that is because my team is made up of entrepreneurs these are people that, that have the experience and they've raised money they've exited they've scaled they've built sales strategies they've done product market fit, all those things that you guys are really wrestling with at the moment, they've done that on a number of occasions and, and therefore have the right skills and knowledge that entrepreneurs want to tap into. So we are a, we as a program, we work with, as I said, founders who are looking to scale and those that we feel have the right product and the right attitude, we will seek to transform and inspire and, 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 and bring those people the opportunity to do that. So the question I ask all of you is, if you are interested in a UK um, operation, what type of operation are you thinking about? Is it a sales office or is it more than that? Is it something, is it a vehicle to access the, uh, the UK in order to scale and internationalize? If it's the latter, if it is that, that you want to do something more than that. You really need to ensure that the solution or the product you have has a good market fit and it is a solution for a problem or it is a solution for an opportunity. I'm not going to say any more than that, but um, I'm really looking forward to talking to you. Just to let you know, we in the last sort of three or four years, we've worked with at least 13 or 14 companies from your region, from Romania, Bulgaria, and Serbia, which we've helped establish, help them to establish UK headquarters. Because in order to access the uh, assistance and the, the, the funding and all those things that the UK has, you need to be located in the UK. Um, so on that basis, I'm going to shut up because I could talk for more, but I'd realise we're, un we're, we're, we're under pressure on, on time. So I'll hopefully I'll be able to answer people's questions later. Thank you. Thank no worries, Derek. Thank you so much. Mitko, just uh, I would like to add uh, 
one note to, to Derek's um, pitch line, let's say. Derek, thank you so much for, for the efforts um, to join us and I'm really happy you made it. I think the voice um, is the critical, is what we need. I can, uh, I, can, I can confirm you are very handsome and I'm sure the people will have a chance to... No, he's not, Christina. No? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Nigel, you're the most handsome or enough. Okay. Um, as I said, we are all very young and uh, full of energy and, uh, you know, dedicated to you, the, the entrepreneurs. Um, Derek has an amazing program and uh, each of the mentors like Nigel and Emily, they, they all have um, uh, critical programs for your business development. It's, it's, it's your uh, role to find the right fit for your future, for your personal future and for your business future. Uh, I put here a slide about the Global Entrepreneur Program. So uh, uh, I will share the slides with you after the session. Um, and I would like to, as, as a little surprise or as a big surprise, but hopefully it's going to be a pleasant one. Derek Goodwin and together with his deal makers are going to be available inside our program for a masterclass session. Um, so you are going to be, um, again, probably we are going to send a poll uh, and we are going to select, uh, you know, a number of cases uh, from all the participants and you are going to uh, enjoy a masterclass with, with Derek and the dealmakers team. Um, and you will be able to get more insights and concrete info in how you can actually, you know, pull it through, um, you know, if, if you wish to relocate the business in the UK and um, uh, get some guidance to grow internationally. So uh, thank you, Derek, so much. Um, yeah, so this just, was just, just a teaser. Just yeah, just on that, um, the masterclass, we will look at things like how to build a go-to-market strategy, the, the things to look for in a funding strategy, how to access grants. So it will be practical, it will be operational, but it will also mean that the people at the masterclass will need to come armed with questions and to demonstrate, to show us their ambition so that we can come together and help, help them. We're about helping companies on their journey from start to finish. And once they're in the program, we work with them until they want to, once they're here, we, we have alumni aftercare programs. So it's, uh, it, it's very um, detailed, but the masterclass will be something uh, we, I hope we do this a lot and, and hopefully it will be a great experience for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Thank you so, again, Derek. And uh, after that, we can talk more about uh, your amazing uh, track record with like 900 deals for those 10, 12 years and like 40, more than 40 years, deals during COVID, like for the last six months, which is uh, impressive. <laughs>